Hello, I'm Giulia Raboni. I'm professor of Italian philology at Parma University in Italy and co-author, along with Paul Italia and others, of the book What is Authoria Philology, which was translated and published by Open Book Publishers this year. The book, whose first Italian edition came out in 2010, is dedicated to a brief history of authorial philology and to a survey of its methodologies as they have been developed in the Italian scholarly tradition. In extreme synthesis, authorial philology concerns itself with the reconstruction of the genetic process of a literary work on the basis of the documents, in the cases of course when these are preserved, and which can be manuscripts or also editions supervised by the author himself. So, in these cases, the idea is to be able to follow the compositional process of the author from the first conception of the work through to the final work, the last will of the author, so to speak, and its evolution along the different stages of the different drafts. This line of inquiry, is called the Critica delle Varianti, Variant Criticism, has been pursued particularly extensively in the tradition of the Italian literary studies. There can be multiple reasons for this. First of all, the sheer number of preserved autographs from Italian authors, both of finished works and of preparatory drafts, is unusually high already from the medieval period. Secondly, there are various reasons, most specifically linguistic ones, which contributed to the precocious development of the Critica delle Varianti in Italy. The canonization of both the Trecento lyrical forms and the Trecento literary language operated by the Italian theoretician and poet Pietro Bembo in the 16th century most notably in his Prose della Vulgar Lingua, in which the author extols the linguistic and poetic models of Dante, Petrarca and Boccaccio in what was to remain a commonplace of the Italian literary historiography in the centuries to come, the so-called Tre Corone. So Bembo had access to Petrarca's ideograph of the Canzoniere and also to the Codice degli Abbozzi, the Codex Vatican Latin 3196, containing different drafts and variants of some texts of the Canzoniere, and discusses them in his theoretical magnum opus. And even more relevantly, Federico Baldini, who even took the absolutely innovative step for the times, of publishing the whole Codice degli Abbozzi in 1642. Some of the methods devised by Baldini for representing the variants were only to be used again from the 20th century, that is, from the founding of authorial philology as a scientific discipline as we know it today. A key difference in the scientific philological studies from the 20th century with such scholars as Giuseppe De Robertis, Gianfranco Contini, Piero Bigongiari, with those early pioneering enterprises by Bembo and Dubaldini, is that the focus moves from the idea of showing a process of improvement, of evolution from the imperfect to the perfect, so to say, to the idea of showing a following the creative process of the author in its evolution in time and the motivations internal and external behind it. To this end, many scholars, and most notably Dante Zella, who coined the term of Filologia d'autore, worked on systems of representation of the variants that would allow the reader to view at a glance the change of the text over time so as to be able to assess the correctory process on its own terms rather than in a 
teleological perspective, so to say. So this book, authored by Paul Italia and myself, is organized in various chapters, which after a general introduction to the history of the discipline, focus on different problems and methods for the formalization of the variants through various case studies chosen from some of the most representative examples of the Italian literature. For this enhanced English edition, in addition to providing an updated bibliography, we added a final chapter dedicated to Spanish, French, and English literature, with examples from Lope de Vega, Shelley, Proust, Jane Austen, and Beckett. These final examples, apart from Beckett and Lope de Vega, whose cases are presented by specialists of these authors, Marco Presotto and Sonia Boadas for Lope de Vega, and Olga Belo Borodova, Dirk van Hulle and Pim Verhulst for Beckett, were entrusted to young scholars of Italian literature, Margherita Centenari for Shelley, Carmela Maranchino for Proust, Francesco Ferriozzi for Jane Austen. We could have chosen specialist foreign literatures, of course, but we made the choice precisely because we wanted to facilitate a dialogue between the Italian philological school to which these young scholars belong and scholars of foreign literature to test so to say, the applicability of our methodologies to other European national literatures. We especially thank open book publishers for making all of this possible. The quality standards of this online publishing house are in fact much higher than those of most traditional publishing houses, yet they chose the online format because they believe, just as we do, in the importance of favoring a wide circulation of knowledge, especially in this moment of general limitation of movement, which we naturally hope will soon end. Thank you for your attention.